Crayfish. What do you think it would be like to have your skeleton outside of your body? You can study crayfish to find out. Crayfish are members of a group of animals called crustaceans. Crustaceans have their, have their skeletons on the outside of their bodies. Crustaceans include lobsters, shrimps, crabs, and crayfish. Crayfish are aquatic organisms. They live in freshwater environments such as ponds, lakes, and streams. Crayfish have structures and behaviors that let them do many things. Crayfish move around in their environment, get food, protect themselves, and produce offspring. Let's take a look at the interesting structures at first. Then we'll find out how those structures help crayfish survive in their environment. A shrimp, a crab. What are all those parts on the crayfish? The main part of the body is the hard shell called the carapace. The head is at the front of the carapace and the jointed tail is at the back. The legs are attached under the carapace. There are eight small walking legs and two big legs called pincers. You can also see two eyes and two long antenna at the front of the head. Look for the short antenna in the photographs of the crayfish on the next few pages. Carapace, pincer, and the two long antenna. To tell male crayfish from female crayfish, you have to look. You have to look on the underside. The small, soft legs under the tail, called swimmerets, are important. If the first two swimmerets are long with white tips, the crayfish is a male. The male's other swimmerets are short. The female has long feather-like swimmerets. Also, the female has a white circle between the four back walking legs. This is the egg pour. When the female lays eggs, this is where they come out. This is the male crayfish. It has two white tipped swimmerets right there. See the tips? And it has short swimmerets. The female has a, the egg pour right here, and it has long feather-like swimmerets. Crayfish have jointed walking legs. How do crayfish move? Crayfish spend most of their time on the bottom of a pond or other body of fresh water. To get around, they walk on their eight walking legs. These legs are jointed so they can climb over rocks and logs easily. Crayfish can walk forward and backward. If a crayfish needs to move quickly, it can shoot through the water very fast. It uses its tail like a paddle. With a quick snap, the tail folds under its body and the crayfish zooms away backward. This is what crayfish do to escape a predator such as a large fish or raccoon. How do crayfish get food? Crayfish eat mostly dead plants and animals. They, feed, they find their food with their antenna using a scent similar to smelling. Their pincers work well for tearing large food into smaller pieces. And have you noticed that the first four le walking legs also have tiny pincers at their tips? These are good tools for picking up small bits of food. The crayfish has interesting mouth parts. They act like scissors and teeth for cutting and breaking food into small pieces enough to swallow. Crayfish can also use their pincers to catch other live organisms for food. The curved points at the tips of the pincers can catch and hold a fish that comes too close. And here, Crayfish smell food with their antenna. See the long antenna and the pincers. Here we have a crayfish hiding in its place.
How do crayfish protect themselves? Crayfish have a hard shell that is covered with points, bumps, and bristles. The shell is a little like the shell is little like a suit of armor. This keeps crayfish safe from many predators. Crayfish also use their pincers for defense. When a crayfish is threatened, it raises its pincers as a warning. If the threat continues, the crayfish will use its pincers to attack. Because crayfish find food with their antenna, they prowl around mostly at night. During the day, crayfish find a place to hide under a rock or a log. By being active at night and hidden during the day, crayfish are harder for predators to find. And here is the crayfish hiding in its place. We will stop right there, boys and girls.